Hello my lovely SSMians, how are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and rocking as always. Today we are going to see how your coming week is going to be. So we have three options over here. Option number one is this lovely uh, evil eye charm. Option number two is this amethyst sphere. And option number three is this beautiful pair of rose quartz mandarin duck so you can select any option that you're drawn towards in case if you're confused as to which option you should choose you can just write number one two three in three different pieces of paper and just say dear god goddess archangels how is my coming week going to be close your eyes and pick up any one piece of paper whatever number comes to you that's going to be your pie all right so let's get started Hello group number one, how are you guys doing? This is Shilu Sapan Matre, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how your coming week is going to be. So you have chosen this beautiful evil eye charm, which means that yes, you are concerned about your reputation is what I'm hearing. And also somewhere you want to be clear that you are safe and protected. So let's see what your cards are going to tell us beginning of the week mid of the week i heard the word party so maybe some of you are going to attend some event end of the week all right let's see your tea leaf cards all right and let's remove a blessing card for the coming week. All right. Let's see all these cards one by one. Okay. First, beginning of the week, you've got nine of cups. Wow. So there is going to be a wish fulfillment, a wish that you have been hoping for, praying for, is going to get fulfilled. Congratulations. Also, you're going to indulge in good food. Don't overdo it. And yes, some of you are also going to receive some sort of financial blessing as well. The middle of the week, you're going, you got the four of swords, which means after all this happiness, this wish fulfillment, finally you are going to rest it out. You're going to take it easy. Some of you may take a break. Uh, some of you may even visit a doctor is what I'm feeling. Some of you may just go to a spa and get a nice spa done. You have got the temperance card for the end of the week. So again, you are going to balance things out. You're going to focus on the midway and not my way or the highway. There will be a lot of divine connect as well happening during the weekend. The blessing coming your way is a blessing on a home. So some of you are going to buy a home, sell a home uh, or move into a new home on rental basis. Some of you are going to buy some beautiful decor for your home. You're going to renovate your home as well. Some of you, there could be a good news with regards to family. You have got stepping into a new experience. So some of you are going to Hey, where's your, oh, for a moment I thought, where did your blessing card go? Okay, so you have got over here, stepping into a new direction. So there's a new beginning happening in this week, coming week. That's beautiful. Pleasure with a close friend. So some of you are going to spend really good quality time with your friends, enjoying and having a good time time partying as well after the partying you're going to take some time off beautiful group one now let's see what the wheel of fortune is going to tell us so before i uh you know spin your wheel of fortune goddess lakshmi workshop is all set and ready if you want to be a part of it and uh see the earlier participants experiences as well click on the link in the pin comment now ask a question and i will spin the wheel you have got yes so whatever your question was the answer is a yes 
all right group one i hope you enjoyed the reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel and do also watch the goddess durga reading that i did and uploaded and yes also visit the link of the goddess lakshmi workshop take care bye bye hello group two how are you guys doing i hope you're fine and amazing amazing as always so you have chosen this beautiful amethyst spear which means a lot of contemplation a lot of self-reflection happening this week also you will be receiving a lot of messages from the divine so note them down let's see how your week is going to be beginning of the week mid of the week i heard the word basket so some of you would be going for grocery shopping basket also represents abundance let's remove some tea leaf cards okay i will just pick this up and this up okay let's see the blessing coming your way in the coming week all right so the beginning of the week you have got the emperor card so you will be dealing with authority uh father healing issues will be your focus fathers in heaven are sending you love you're going to pay attention to organizing creating strategy ensuring that there is no declutter or there is everything is in place and organized all right and yes uh, as i said you will be dealing with authority okay the middle of the week you have got the queen of swords so the emperor and the queen of swords that's some combination so in the middle of the week ensure that you are gentle with yourself and others do not be harsh do not use harsh words with yourself or others and yes a woman is going to help you and this woman would be a little strict and uh, stern as well also with this card i feel you are going to have a very practical approach to life the end of the week you have got the ten of wands ten of swords sorry so yes uh, i feel that something will come to an end and uh, you may feel a little sad about it but at the same time you will be hopeful for the new future future as well you will be filled with hope and that's beautiful because hope is what is important right now let's see the blessing coming your way the blessing coming your way is a blessing on your sleep so you are going to take some time off you're going to rest it out uh, in your sleep you're going to see some really beautiful dreams that will give you more clarity and hope as well now the two cards that you have got is dealing or relationship with a younger woman all right so a young a woman who is younger to you is going to be kind of help to you all right and you have got the month of january so whatever you you do in the week ahead its impact you are going to feel in the month of january all right so this is what your uh, cards are telling us now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so before i spin the wheel of fortune i have a goddess lakshmi workshop coming up in case if you want to know more details about this workshop uh, click on the link in the pinned comment you can also see the earlier participants experiences now let's spin the wheel you can ask the question you have got weight so let's understand why is there a weight okay you have got a weight because you need to heal okay you need to heal you need to uh, rest it out before you take action all right so you need to take some time off that's why the weight is because if you immediately start then there will be some sort of burnout or your body needs to heal you need to heal mentally as well all right okay so group two i hope you enjoyed the reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button subscribe to my channel and do visit the workshop link as well take care bye bye 
Hello group 3, how are you guys doing? I hope you are fine and amazing as always. Let's see how your coming week is going to be. So you have chosen this cute uh, mandarin ducks. So the week ahead, your love life is going to be your focus. There is going to be a lot of healing happening and a lot of you know to and fro conversations happening as well. Now let's see what your cards are telling us. Commitment focus is important in the week ahead. I'm hearing the word books. So knowledge as well is going to come your way. Oh, you got this card extra. Let's keep it. This is your guidance card. Let's see the blessing coming your way in the week ahead. Okay, and let's pick up some tea leaf cards. All right, group threes, week ahead. The beginning of the week you got the lovers card oh my god what a coincidence you had chosen the beautiful pair of mandarin ducks and you got the lovers card so love is going to be your focus in the beginning of the week pay attention that you do not fall into any sort of temptation choices are going to be important you're going to do what you love doing during the beginning of the week the middle of the week, you have got the star. Wow! Two major arcana cards, the lovers and star. Amazing. So in the middle of the week, you are going to get fame, recognition. You're going to spend time healing as well. You may see, uh, you may visit a psychic as well. And also in the middle of the week, you are going to watch a lot of spiritual content. You're going to listen to mantras. You're going to do rituals as well during the mid of the week. The end of the week, you have got the seven of pentacles. So you are going to put your efforts and you're going to wait it out. You may be like, you know what, let me not take action right now, especially during the weekend since the week was full of, you know, uh, high energy as you have got the major arcana cards the weekend you may decide to wait it out to take it easy to not uh, get into too much of action and to wait and watch the card that just came out was three of pentacles so this is kind of an this is like an advice card so this card is asking you to cooperate collaborate then compete Teamwork is going to be important. People are going to observe you so ensure that your social skills are on the top. Also, be uh, put your work on social media. Let people know about your talent, your skills as well. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. This is going to happen in the coming week and not surprising with the lovers and the star card. Beautiful. Let's see your next card. Love, deep affection and caring. Wow, you had got the lovers card. You did get, you had chosen the two mandarin ducks. This is so beautiful. A lot of love coming your way. A lot of care, a lot of affection as well let's see the blessing a blessing on your boundaries so yes i feel that somebody was trying to push you however this card is telling you that you will be able to stand up for yourself and the other person will also get a very clear idea to not cross boundaries with you all right, now this is what your cards are telling us. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune. So, Goddess Lakshmi Workshop is all set and you can be a part of this workshop by clicking on the link given in the pinned comment. Um, you can also see the earlier participants' experiences as well. So, let's see what your Wheel of Fortune is going to tell us. So, think about a question, group three, and let me spin the wheel for you. No. Now let's understand why is it a no. Okay. It 
it's a no because more work is required there are more efforts that need to be put so that it comes to fruition that's why it is a no okay all right group three i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you are guided take care of yourself Bye bye